Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video is going to be all about a, a, a key technique that's really going to teach you how to make any kind of asset you want to make. Um, this is for learning purposes primarily. This isn't really going to help you with um, making assets by yourself. It's basically a form of um, using existing assets to kind of get the basic shape yourself. So, for example, I'm on a site called Sketchfab right now. Um, I recommend you guys use Sketchfab or a site called Turbo Squid or whatever, where you can download free 3D assets. Um, as you can see here, uh, free um, the free assets have this little icon here, which you can go ahead and download. And essentially, what what this technique is is you you download an existing really nice model, and then you kind of um, trace over it to get kind of like the basic shape of it and then you can kind of go from there if you want to add detail onto it you can um if not then you know you can make it low poly and shove it straight into your game but uh yeah let's get straight into the uh the method okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use this model as an example um so i'm gonna go ahead and download it by scrolling down and clicking download through the model and then import it straight into um blender okay so now that i have this model um, one thing I'd like to mention is Sketchfab does need, um, require you to have an account, um, but it's completely free. You can just go ahead and make an account and then you should be chilling. Um, so as you can see, wireframe mode, this is this might be over 10,000 triangles, so you wouldn't be able to um, import it into Studio anyways, unless you split it into different pieces. But um, we're not going to worry about that um, at the moment. So I'm going to show you exactly how to, uh, how to do this technique. And this is basically to help you get the basic shape of any kind of asset you um, want to make. Let's say you're struggling making a car or a boat or anything. This basically works with anything. Um, I recommend switching, uh, making adjustments afterwards so it doesn't look too much like the original. Um, but obviously, yeah, this is kind of just to, to, to teach you how to get the, the basic shape, really. So, yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, to the side over here. And the first thing I want to do is go to Add, Mesh, and Plane. Now, as you can see, we have our plane here. And now what you want to do is grab your the model you want to uh, trace, essentially, and use your plane. And now you can basically place it wherever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. Let's say I want to um, do this nose part first. I'll press S to scale, X on the X axis, and I'll get roughly the the shape I want to get here. And now all you do is you go, you press Tab to go into edit mode, and then select this edge, um, or click this button here to select the edges. Basically, I'm going to lock onto the X axis. As you can see. I'm now I'm, I pressed E to extrude, and now I'm extruding this um, this plane outwards. So now I'm getting kind of like uh, the rough shape of the uh, vehicle. As you can see, it's a very simple method, um, which anyone can really figure out once you, if you know kind of like the basics of Blender, and then you kind of go ahead and. Add all however much detail you want to to your uh, model and then this is literally the method you can obviously use the mirror modifier to make things a lot easier for you so if I was to press ctrl and R to add a loop it down the middle and then I'm going to just delete these uh, faces and this one and then I can just click this model click this blue little wrench add modifier mirror and now you you're literally doing half the work now you can use um, if when you're in edit mode and you press tab you can use one two and three to select the uh, edges faces and vertices and now you can use uh, vertices if you want and you can extrude downwards Obviously, you're going to extrude just the vertice or the vertex, um, which sometimes they may be hard to see. But essentially, you kind of just 
build the uh, the shape of the vehicle like this. If you extrude a uh, vertex and you have two vertices split like this, what you can do is you can select them both and press F and it links them. And then if I select this edge or I select all these four edges and then press F, it will um, fill it in. And then you can kind of go and make amendments. And as you can see, super simple and you you um, you quickly develop the uh, shape you're looking for. If you want to make something low poly, then um, this is kind of like the uh, the perfect method to use. Um, another thing I want to mention is if, let's say you've got your vertices like this and they're kind of close and you want to attach them, um, you can select both vertices like this, right click, and then merge vertices um, at center, wherever really. I'm going to do at last because um, I clicked the second vertex last, so I want to join them there. But this is pretty much the uh, the method. Uh, if you want to learn a new shape or a new um, object you want to make, you kind of just extrude and then just get the, the rough shape. You just bring that up. And it's a very easy way to get complex shapes um, in a, uh, maybe like a, a complex vehicle or something like that in a low poly kind of uh, aesthetic to it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this method. If this helped, make sure to like the video and um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.